Unfortunately, there's a lot of stigma around men's sexual health a lot of the times, but it's very important to have an open and communicative dialogue and relationship with your urologist. Dr. Human, let's say I'm a guy in my 30s and it's my first time visiting a urologist like yourself. What can I expect during that visit? Well, I mean, you could expect a doctor who's, who's willing to listen to you. So I think from, from a doctor's perspective, the one thing that we all appreciate is you to be open. Tell us exactly why you're here and what you're experiencing. Um, creating that open dialogue from a patient standpoint and, and a doctor's standpoint, creating that open dialogue helps us uh, address whatever issue you are experiencing. We've heard it all at this point, right? There's nothing that we haven't heard. Um, so don't be embarrassed. Don't be shy about talking about the issues that are bringing you here. And in doing so, you, that, you make that visit a lot more productive for yourself and you'll leave having felt heard and more importantly, having felt you know, you'll, you'll be treated, um, that issue that you're experiencing will be treated better. Fellas, your visit with a urologist is a safe space for you to openly communicate about some of the issues that are causing you stress and frustration under the sheets, whether that's erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation. It's important to trust that they will be taking care of you to the best of their abilities and are looking out for you.